Hi, my name is Henrik Sandin and this is my Team Fortress 2 map, Encampment. My map is designed for 10 to 12 players and is a bit smaller than the standard King of the Hill map. I made this choice since I wanted to push towards a fast paced and intense gameplay. Both teams spawn in separate ends of the map, with multiple paths to get into the middle. I split up the map in 3 zones, the red, the blue and the neutral zone. Having these zones creates a sense of ownership for the teams, making the neutral zone the most appealing one to capture. This pushes the gameplay towards the middle of the map and creates a circular flow around the capture zone. When designing the map I tried to create multiple flanking paths for the teams to use. These flanking paths were appreciated by the players since it gave them different options to choose from when engaging the other team. My design strived towards having most of the combat taking place at the capture point and should the player feel under advantage or need to resupply, they can often use the flanking paths for getting in and out of combat fairly quickly. In earlier versions, I designed a map to have underground tunnels, functioning as flanking routes. After watching players playtest my map, I came to the conclusion that the tunnels took too long to run through. I solved this by removing the tunnels and creating more rooftop platforms to add more verticality to the gameplay. I designed them as flanking routes without the downside of players being away from the combat for too long. I started creating unique paths and spots on the elevated areas for classes like the Scout and the Sniper, promoting the class's uniqueness. As I did this, new problems was created, like the Sniper having too much of an advantage at the bridge. At first, the bridge had no walls and was hollow, so explosive projectiles would pass right through it, leaving the Sniper unharmed. My solution was to add see-through walls on the bridge, so that classes like the Devilman and Soldier could fire a projectile towards the opening of the window and hit the wall stealing splash damage towards the sniper. Another big challenge I had was connected with the engineer class. When designing my king of the hill map, the engineer would often have too much or not enough of an impact on the game. To balance this, I made sure both of the teams had a good turret spot close to the main objective and that the weakness it had was that it could be flanked from higher ground where it had no vision. As I chose to have a symmetrical map to make it as balanced as possible, I knew it could lead to the players being a bit confused. Things like the players mistaking one side for another and just having a hard time navigating could easily occur. I prevented this by adding a variety of colored props on each side, representing the different teams to help them know what side of the map they were currently on. Thank you for watching, please feel free to try out my map at the Steam Workshop, and if you want more detail about the map's development, please take a look at my portfolio at henriksandin.com.